Hall of Famer Michael Rosenblatt certainly does that. He doesn't always focus on sports, but when he does, the athletes and their feats jump off the canvas in a potpourri of color. Rosenblatt has been inspired by our local baseball heroes as well, past and present. I started painting uh, in the uh, late 70s when I was um, in high school. And when we came out to California, I especially got involved in, with more painting. I think my style derives from energy and uh, wanting to express movement. I think the combination of the color and shapes, and whether it's abstract or uh, realism, I'm all about, you know, being your unique, being original. Painting has lots of stages, and it's similar to just about any creative process, music or movies even. And it starts off with a general idea in your mind. And then from there, you want to, you know, get that general composition down. So that's where the sketching comes in. And then, of course, there's the, the colors and how well the colors blend and mix together. And so from there, I um, will then, you know, start to add detail. And then the energy starts coming together. I see it coming to life. So it's an exciting process of watching you know, what is in your mind come to life on in reality. So what makes sports a perfect muse for art? In sports, you have drama, you know, that is similar to life in many ways, but it's also entertainment. There's an energy not knowing what's going to happen, that the unpredictable nature of sports, that excitement, that suspense, you know, you don't have it in a lot of things that where everything is laid down. In sports, it's very much, each game is completely different from the other game. And that's the beauty of the, the human form and the athlete, you know, that performs at the very highest level. So I think in sports, there's a tremendous avenue for art. Michael found inspiration for one of his masterpieces in the passing of Mr. Padre. I uh, painted the Tony Gwynn painting shortly after the passing of Tony Gwynn, and it, I wanted a tribute to, to Tony Gwynn that would be fitting of the effect that he left the city of San Diego. Having it not just, you know, be a home run, but having the home run all leave the stadium and go into outer space. So it's, you know, something beyond super, like superhero type of thing, not just the exactness of it, because there are some imperfections. It's the energy and the emotion that I was going for so that um, people would feel that excitement. Michael's Tony Gwynn painting is currently hanging in the San Diego State baseball locker room. Tony was the only home run painting Michael has ever done. His next masterpiece came to him while attending a game at Petco Park this year. When I go to a ball game, there's a feeling of exhilaration and excitement that, you know, echoes through the stadium. And it's just a very exciting um, emotional feeling. So that's the kind of thing that motivates me. It's a real energy in San Diego right now. I think everybody is really excited about the players. We have especially Manny Machado and the excitement that he brings to the Padres. And I said, you know, it's time to do another epic uh, home run style painting, you know, in the same vein as the home win painting. So I decided, well, this time I want it to be a little different. I wanted it to be during the day and then have the original Padre colors of uh, the brown and the, the mustard yellow, you know, and that unique color blend, you know, that gives the Padres a certain something, you know, that's original in, uh, in baseball. And of course, the new stadium and just the excitement that um, people feel when they go to uh, Petco Park, just the whole Padre feeling, you know, with the park, Petco Park, and uh, the excitement, and I think the um, ever-improving uh, Padres. So where will Manny be displayed? I'd like to see the Manny Machado painting in a public venue so that everyday fans can enjoy the painting wherever that might be. I'd love to see everybody get a chance to enjoy looking at an original painting because to me that's what art's all about, allowing everybody to be able to see the artwork. 
Nice work by Rosenblatt. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to seeing his painting of Fernando Tatis Jr. Well, that's all the time we have for now.